All right, Jared. All right, a guy beat you here last year, right? Or at down in third place in the yeah. duel, in this duel, right? Yep. What do you, uh, you know, you got a guy like Donnie Jones. Didn't look like you were respecting the fakes. He's faking a lot. Is there something you're seeing that he's not delivering when he fakes and when he commits? Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's kind of a feel. You just kind of start feeling guys. Get a hold of him. He's a guy you got to kind of grab onto and get heavy hands with. When I, you can kind of feel whenever he's coming at you. Just keep moving with him. So, uh, just looking for my shots. Just trying to stay on my offense. Nice takedown to start to start it, but uh, he actually caught you like kind of flat-footed there. Looked like you might have tweaked your knee a little bit. It was a rough match to get through. Yeah. Tweaked your knee a little bit. Is that everything all right with that? You were able to yeah, finish it, looked like, pretty I easily. Had a little bit, just a little cartilage or something going on. So just little aches and pains. It's nothing too bad. Does it help that your brother's a physical therapist? <laughs> yeah, my brother and my dad, they're both uh, fixing me up, keeping me through the season. It's tough being a six-year guy. Six-year guy, man. What are you, like 35? Close. What are you, 22 or 23? 24. You're 24? Yeah. Oh, man, you got some old creaks in the bones, right? Yeah, I do. I do a lot. All right. Uh, they got your ranked second or third only losses to Schmelian this year, correct? Yeah. You know, that, that, that's one you're, you're probably going to be able to see, you know, coming into the EWL tournament. You're going to see Schmelian again. Yeah. But what's the mentality going into the EWL tournament? I mean, 165 is the toughest weight in the EWL. Yeah. You know, hands down. What's the mentality going into that tournament for you? Knowing Schmelian, you made your decision, you had to scuffle. What do you, what's your thinking going in there? I just want to go there and be ready. Be ready to wrestle. Uh, it's, that, it's what it comes down to every year. Get in there, you got to be ready to go. Um, it doesn't matter what happened earlier in the season. Um, last year I went in, I lost to Donnie Jones two weeks before. So, came out, pinned him in the finals, and went on to win nationally. So, I mean, everyone starts 0-0 zero and zero once you get there. Sixth year been everything you thought it would be. Yeah, I would like to uh, stay healthy the whole time, get to wrestle off every match, but uh, you know, you'll get some things here and there. So. But uh, it's, been, it's been good though. Talking to you now, it seems like uh, you didn't lose consciousness tonight, but did you lose consciousness on that Granby off the mat? Yeah, I think I was out for a little bit. But, uh, I thought you were too. But, uh, how do you feel now, just like, uh, you know, talking to me and the lights and the music, is that bothering you at all? I'm a little lightheaded, but it's, uh, it's fine. You don't look glassy and you're not slurring your speech, yeah. so I don't think you got a concussion, but... Yeah, I think I'm doing all right. You got anything else for me? I love sitting down and talking to you. Like, one, I told Joe Flo, you're literally one of the nicest dudes I've ever met. You got anything else for me? I don't think so. You don't think so? All right, hey, good luck. We will be at the EWLs. I want to see if you can repeat, and obviously... I'm going to be bringing the strong mustache with me to the national <laughs> tournament. It's looking good. Jared, thank you for the time, and uh, we'll definitely keep tabs on you, brother. All right, thank you.